Well, I think that this is the first important step here that we're taking. It's the first step to working towards working together on an agenda that we both support. It's not just about the medium and long term, it's also about addressing urgent issues. It's the first step towards working on a strategy here in connection with these cultural policies. We've heard this from our experts and we are seeing that this is becoming more and more strategic, more now than ever before. We've heard from many colleagues as well who have said that uh, we need to reflect the diversity as well when it comes to dialogues. And that's very, very important when it comes to international relations. And it's uh, important when it comes to our ability to be able to respond to what's going on. And so I think that we do need to say that this year, that it's 10 years on from the UNESCO Convention on Cultural Heritage. And so our committee is going to have a hearing over the next few months. It's going to look at cultural diversity and promoting intercultural dialogue. We're also considering organizing a hearing on how we can prevent radicalization in cultures. So I think that if we work together between the AFET and culture committees, we can feed into the Commission's current strategy. Mogherini, the High Representative, is very open to this. And we also have other advisors who are working on it. So I think it would be good if we have a chance to have these discussions in our committee, also in your AFED committee. We can have a joint initiative report. I think that that might all be very interesting. In 2011, we did work on one cultural aspect, but I think that the strength of our, our approach here is that if we both support it and all support it, it will be much stronger. We're also working with uh, our colleagues on the report on cultural heritage. That's something we're going to discuss at our next meeting. We're looking at the external aspect of that and cooperation. And I'm sure that that point is going to be included in the report. We also need to work on the five areas that you mentioned, Mr. Wagner. We need to talk about uh, what Mrs. Truppel also mentioned as well about the fund. And I think we need to work more carefully and closely with our AFET colleagues. Maybe there could be a fund that would be dedicated to this. Then we have individual bilateral agreements between the EU and other third countries. We also heard some comments uh, made about the expertise that Europe does have. We heard comments made about the Balkans, for example. I do think that we need to have an immediate strategy either for countries around the Mediterranean. There is the awareness here that there is an interest in this kind of cooperation, not only in looking at heritage, but also in looking at uh, creativity in general and in different kinds of cooperation. So this is a kind of repositioning here between Europe, Africa and uh, that Mediterranean region which has been going through some sort of turmoil recently. And I think that's very, very important. The other very important point that we need to work on as a priority is being able to take action when it comes to trying to contribute to the prevention of conflicts. We've got a lot of soft skills here that we could use. The EU does provide for using this reciprocal approach and to applying that to cooperation. We also need the involvement of civil society and we have a lot of uh, 
uh, people are very interested in this report at the moment. We have the Europe Creative Programme. There's a lot of interest in it, not only in Europe, but also in other neighbouring countries. And quite often these networks uh, work very well when it comes to uh, bringing people together and opening up opportunities in terms of mobility. Then, as we've heard earlier, I think that we will have the chance to focus on various different initiatives. I'm thinking not only of cultural heritage and restoration and so on, but I'm thinking of other initiatives which are linked to individuals and to setting up networks. I will be working with the coordinators in the Culture Committee when it comes to working on this uh, report. And then I hope that we'll get uh, some support from you as well. And I hope that we can come up with this uh, joint uh, opinion. Hopefully it will be a very successful one. So thank you very much for having made all of those proposals. Thank you very much for showing this interest. And thank you for showing interest in the joint strategy. It's all very essential. Thank you. Thank you very much.